What up, world? I'm Steve. You guys are the Crypto Crew, and this is where we keep crypto simple and easy to understand. Today, we have an exciting video and a new kind of video to get to. It is the top three altcoins for the week of May 21st. Before we jump into it, if you guys are new here, we welcome you into the Crypto Crew. You definitely want to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. What I want to start off with is something a little bit different. What I would like you to do is think about the most stressful time for you in crypto. Maybe it was today, last week, last month, but think about that time where you feel the most stress in crypto. Remember that experience, what was happening during that moment. Think about that time right now. What I want to do for you is take that stress and replace it with confidence and replace it with celebrations. Celebrations because winning trades. Guys, I have 17 years experience in the stock market. My classes are powerful and they will change your life. My classes are linked down below. Sign up to my classes right now and I'm going to help you make that big change in your life. No more stress. Instead, confidence in celebrations. Celebrations for making winning trades. Everything you need to sign up is down below. You can email me if you have further questions about the class or to pay in crypto. Now, let's jump into this video. I would love to get your feedback because this is a new style of video for us. Um, we've done top three altcoins for the month. I would like to start this series for the week. Let me know in the comments if this is a good idea or a bad idea. All right, let's jump into it. As you guys know, I'm not your financial advisor, but let's get into this video. What we're going to do is we're going to cover three altcoins. You guys love to learn more about altcoins and the charts of altcoins, so that's why I thought this series would be good. We're going to, at the end, talk about what's happening in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to drive the whole market next week. All right, so we'll cover that at the end of the show. And I also have some announcements for the crypto crew. Good to see the crypto crew back here. Hope you guys are well. First coin, EOS. We're starting off with EOS here. We've got EOS to USD. We're on the one day chart. We have our stochastics down at the bottom, the RSI in the middle, and we've got our moving averages here. We're going to talk about some of the extra lines that I put in with the RSI, but first, what I like about EOS going into next week, the week that starts May 21st, is this reason. We're going to zoom in here. EOS had a massive run-up, all right? There's no denying that. This chart setup happens all the time in crypto. This is a repeatable pattern that we've seen from the beginning of time in crypto. A big move up, generally a couple hundred percent, followed by a big move down, generally 50%. We've seen exactly a 50% correction, but not just an ordinary 50% correction, a 50% correction that found support right on the 50-day moving average. This is a great sign, folks. You can see our first point of contact uh, was 512 and then on 516 and we ran along the 50-day for several candles, several bars, several days and we just, just started to have a bounce off the 50-day at the same time we had a bounce off of a critical level in the RSI. You can see our RSI critical level on the lower level is hanging out right about 38, again, on the daily chart. So this level is not just any ordinary level. It's been a critical level of support and resistance for the history of EOS. And right now, it's acting as support. So you have strong support from the 50-day, strong support from this level in the RSI, and you have the stochastics that's starting to swing upward, okay? So based on those three things, EOS is looking good for next week. Let's go into pick number two. 
X V G Verge. We don't cover Verge a lot on this channel. However, this has made our list so far. Let's take a deeper dive into what's going on with Verge. Verge right now is at a critical point. You can see here that we've had a big green candle come out and it's met right at our current resistance from this 50 day moving average here on the daily chart. You can see that our stochastics is starting to swing up, meaning our momentum has been down for a little while as well as mostly everybody in the market. Again, we're going to cover Bitcoin at the end of this show, and that's going to dictate all market movements for next week and the coming weeks. So there's some very strong points to get to with Bitcoin. We're also approaching some resistance here on the RSI, on the daily chart. So we're met with some resistance at the 50-day and the, the resistance on the RSI. If we can break through those barriers... For example, if the RSI gets above 57 on the daily and price gets above 7-ish cents on the daily, we're going to be looking good, guys. We're going to be looking good. And that's going to bring a lot of confidence into the Verge chart. So pay attention to those levels heading into next week. The chart I want to get to next is different. This channel is all about learning, as you guys are well aware. I want to show you a different type of chart to analyze, a naked chart, as I like to call it. So here, it could be quite complex and overwhelming to some. The next chart is simplicity in its purest form, and I would like you guys to learn a different technique, not just looking at Coinigy and the stochastics and the RSI and the moving averages, but a naked chart how to tell based on a naked chart. So we're going to look at the next coin, Walton. Walton is one of my favorite coins, and it's looking pretty damn good, I must say. What I would like you guys to notice here is we're on the log scale chart. If we're on a linear chart here on coin market cap, this is what you're, you're probably comfortable looking at. We'll look at both just to show you that they're they're it's just looking at the glass of water from the top or from the bottom it's the same information just in a different way okay so what i want you to notice right away when you look at walton here we're on the all-time chart on coin mar market cap pay attention to the ten dollar level this is a critical level in fact it's the most critical level in all the chart for Walton Chain. Why? Because it was pretty strong resistance way way back in October of last year, and it was and it held resistance for uh, several months. It was resistance still in December, and then it finally turned into strong support starting at the end of December, running into the new year. Um, you guys know what happened to the market after that. And what happened is Walton went right back to this critical level, and we've hung out there um, since March 18th. Okay, we held support, we broke support for momentarily, and then we confirmed that it is now support, and we're coming right back to this level. Generally speaking, you see a, a nice move after a coin is coming back to a very critical level and it confirms support. If we break through this $10 level, we're in a little bit of trouble, but it's not likely that that happens. It's pretty likely that we're gonna come down, maybe not much more, but come down near this $10 level and we see a move. And everything is going to be predicated on what Bitcoin does next week and that's what we're going to get into next so that's what I look at when I'm looking at a naked chart all right you can look at it in log scale it's going to tell you the same thing when we look at it in log scale it's still this ten dollar level the chart just looks a little bit different it's the same information it's the same data we're just looking at it through a different lens that's it that's the linear versus log scale 
Log scale will take away these big moves of fluctuation and make it easier to understand how big these moves were. However you, however you cut it, this $10 level is pretty critical. So Walton right now is hanging out at $11.73. So we'll pay close attention to how this chart plays out. And again, same kind of, we had a, a nice move in Walton. We've seen a nice little correction, finding support. Everything looks good. So we'll have to figure out first and foremost what's going on with the top dog, with the big dog, Bitcoin. Let's take a deeper dive into this chart because this chart is going to dictate the entire market scenery, the move, everything that's going to happen next week is going to be based on what Bitcoin does. All right. So we've got Bitcoin here in the daily chart. A couple key points. One, first thing I want to point out is the critical level that I'm watching in Bitcoin. If there's one thing you remember about the Bitcoin chart from today, again, everything that we do here, I want you to learn. The number one thing to learn about Bitcoin is 7,700 and change. It's probably like 7,750. We'll call it for even numbers. So 7,550 is a critical level. We don't want to break that. It's critical for a few reasons. Number one, it's been a critical level of support and resistance for a significant amount of time. All right, many months. 7,750. All right, that's number one. Number two is it's a critical level in the Fibonacci retracement. This run up that we started building five weeks ago, we started building this uptrend. This is not a bull run, just to remind you guys. This is not a bull run as everybody has been saying in, in all of YouTube. They've been saying we're in a bull run since back here, but we've continued to decline in price. We're not in a bull run. We've stayed firm with that thought uh, this entire time. I'll tell you guys when we're in a bull run, it's when we get over 11,500. We've made that very clear in many videos. Keep that level in mind, 11,500. However, back to today's move. We had this nice move in Bitcoin and we had a correction right down to where we should have a correction, all right? In the Fibonacci retracement, this level that we've been talking about, 7,750, is the, the 618 level in the Fibonacci. So pay close attention to that level. What I don't like is if we zoom in here, Bitcoin is now holding resistance from the 50-day moving average from the past three bars. So just the past three days, it's nothing to be really alarmed about. However, it's not great news. So I do need to point that out. What I do like is we're getting pretty low on this RSI. And we're getting pretty drawn out on our stochastics. If you're an investor, if you're long term in crypto, you're starting to lick your lips. You're starting to lick your chops and get ready for a nice investment because the market is starting to look pretty good in terms of a nice buy opportunity. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Um, it's starting to look pretty good. All right. The RSI just a few days ago bottomed out on the daily chart at 38. It's a great sign. Our stochastics has been bottoming out for a little bit of time now. And this drawn out move that we've had is starting to come to a close. These are all great signs. So that's what I, I, I like to see. We could have a handful of more days in, in this kind of a, a downturn and I, I expect us to see a bounce from 7.750. That's what I expect to see in all honesty. Will it happen? Nobody knows. There's no human on planet Earth. But that's what I'm looking for. If we break below 7.750, which is definitely possible, everything is possible in crypto. You have to come to terms with that. If we break 7.750, I'm not very confident, and I'll tell you why. There's no support here until we get down to 6.5. Look at the chart. We have not built support 
anywhere below 7750. If we break that level, it's highly likely we will come down and touch this level. However, we don't have a lot of room for down movement in the RSI, and we don't have a lot of down movement in room for the stochastic. So it's not likely that we come down to this 6,005. It's not likely. So I do want to make that clear. It's more probable that we get a bounce off of this level or uh, a level very close to that, right? At 7,750 or right above. So that's how I'm seeing Bitcoin. That's going to determine this entire market move. Now I want to get to some announcements for the crypto crew. The first thing I want to talk about is, whew, there's more scammers, guys. We brought up on this channel before that there's been a handful of accounts on Instagram that have taken my profile picture, changed one of the letters in my name. So Stephen Pauline with two L, Stephen Pauline with two E, Stephen Pauline with two P's. They change it and they have very small followers and they're scammers. They're trying to steal money from you. Do not answer them. Also, there's people that are trying to uh, email with these with these fake names, and uh, there's there's a fake website with the crypto crew. Just just be aware, guys. We have a powerful brand and a powerful community that we're building here, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to come and try to to grab some success. But we're not going to let them. All right, we're not going to let them. If you see any message from anybody on social media and they have a small amount of followers, it is not me. To make it really simple, I've never messaged anybody in the crypto crew from Instagram. Nobody. Ever. 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 So I just want to make that clear. My Instagram... Um, has like 24,000 or, or something followers. All these fake accounts have like 100 or 90 or maybe two or 300. So just pay attention to that. Next thing I want to get to, some of you guys wonder, Steve, why are you wearing this pink bow tie? Why do you have this hat on like this? Why do you have a pink blazer? The answer is because I'm different. And I'll make it simple for you guys. I didn't get into this position I'm in today from being like everybody else. I got into this position I'm in today because I'm different. The crypto crew, everything that we're building in this community, we're different. We do things differently because we believe in ourselves. Guys, it's not normal to work six days a week when you're eight years old, nine years old, ten years old. It's not normal to get into the stock market at 16 when your parents have no idea what the stock market is. It's not normal to land your dream job right out of college, making a lot of money in corporate America, and then leave it at 26 years old to be your own boss. It's not normal to think and dream, have this dream life in your head, things you dream about, you wish you could live that way, and then make it reality. That's what I've done, guys. And I've done it because I'm not like everybody else. I've made this dream life of traveling around the world full time, living in all different countries during the year with my girlfriend and dog while trading crypto because that's what I wanted in my head. That's what I dreamed about and I made it happen. The crypto crew, we're all different. Everybody is different and you are unique to yourself. That's what we stand for here. So I would love to see in the comments how you're unique. Everybody here in the crypto crew, you have your story. Let me hear your story. I want to hear that you're unique and how you're unique. So I want to, I want to inspire everybody to think differently. Be you. I'm me. There's nobody else on YouTube walking around with a pink bow tie, a pink blazer, and a travel hat. You can't find them. Because I am me. Next thing I want to get to, the classes, guys. This leads me into my next point. I can't stress it enough. My classes are powerful. Why? Because I'm passionate, I have a lot of experience, and I have a proven system. This system is going to change your life. It, 
it will change your life. So wait no longer. Get down into the description. That's where the classes are. Sign up right now, and I'm going to help you make that big change in your life. The last update is exciting. The last update is exciting. The new website that I've been telling you guys about, the vision that I have for what we are building here, the name is going to be Crypto Crew University. Let me hear your comments on this name. Crypto Crew University. Ooh, that just makes me excited just saying it. Why? Because we're all, we're all centered around teaching, learning, and I'm providing you guys the highest level of classes that are made simple. University just has a nice crypto crew university. Woo! Just say it out loud for a sec. But we'd love to hear your comments on that as well. What do you guys think of this name? And that's it for today. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? If you haven't given a thumbs up yet, what are you waiting for? Give a thumbs up right now. Hit that subscribe button. It'll be somewhere on the screen. And I look forward to welcoming you into the classes. Crypto Crew, it was great seeing you today. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace and love to the Crypto Crew.